Hey everybody, this is River Jumper coming at you. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Hey, today we're going over a wood stove me and my dad built back in 2012. And I did a lot of video on then. Really didn't uh, do as much as I should have, but I was kind of new at it. But uh, anyway, here it is and I wanted to show it to you and uh, just uh, enjoy. Okay, uh, here's my tank. It's a 500 gallon tank. Uh, that we're going to cut down to like 42 inches and at the front of it we're going to like I say I'm, that's the front of it I'm going to put cut a hole and we're going to put them doors that we cut off uh, them fire inserts. Did the easy part. Right. Yeah we just did the easy part. Alright well that's our plans guys and, uh, and we'll, just, we'll see how it goes. Hey, just get in sit down and shut up and hang on. <laughs> <laughs> see ya. Yeah. This is, the door, this is the door face that we're going to use. Now this one we cut off with a, a, a skill saw. Yeah, yeah. Okay, and we had real good luck with it. Um, and uh, like I say, this is going to be uh, attached to the front of the, the <coughs> fuel tank that we, we we're making a stove out of. And at the bottom, we'll, we'll make some kind of uh, ash pit and uh, somewhere we're going to let uh, air flow through the bottom. Do now is uh, we're gonna cut the front off this tank, uh, and we we did all the measurements. We did put uh, drove the line. We get the right measurement on it, and uh, using a skill saw, uh, using a metal cutting blade from uh, a dollar at Harbor Freight. Now, the reason we're doing it with a skill saw is because uh, with a torch, I just don't think that we'll do a good enough cut. Cause we gotta weld these back together. So that's it. So here we're gonna go. Okay, well, uh, we used three blades. Three blades. Yeah, so, and really, I mean, you've got a bunch of blade left there, don't you? I mean, yeah, on the third one. Well, I thought the blades. Bit, uh, yeah, so I, th I thought the blades just did a pretty good job. They did a real good job. Mm -hmm. The hardest yeah. thing was just keeping straight. Uh huh. But we'll make up for it when we we'll weld it back together. Uh huh. Hey, we could use that to, we could fix bacon and eggs in that dude. Huh? That's a big frying pan. It might have a diesel taste to it. <laughs> uh, well, I, I bet I ain't paying attention. Okay, dude. Hey, this is uh, uh, tune in tomorrow, okay, for the next chapter. All right. got this front that we've taken off of the fireplace insert and here, here are the doors and uh, what we're gonna do we had a 500 gallon fuel tank and uh, the first thing we did we measured over and found the center then we made a plumb mark and we did that on both ends so that we can always line up and uh, what we're going to do here, we've decided how big our hole is for our uh, for our door front, and we're going to cut a pattern out of cardboard, and we're going to lay it on here and kind of get an eyeball on, you know, what looks good, what's going to work, this, that, and the other. So, uh, well, that's kind of what's happening, and then uh, we're thinking the door is going to be like here. And then we're gonna do like some. We're gonna have some boiler tubes running through here. So that's that. That's that. What are you up to, Pop? Oh, about six foot. <laughs> six foot. Yeah. Actually, five foot eleven. I used to be six foot. <laughs> but I used to be a lot of things. <laughs> I think we about wore out the drill trying to drill these holes. Yeah. 
This drill's got a bad attitude. That's all right. We get we uh making it happen, ain't we? The little holes wasn't too bad, but the uh, big holes they've been kind of. Uh, they had that that big hole made a world of difference on this little drill, didn't it? Yeah. Yeah. You know I've got that big SDS, but you never would be able to get the bit in here. It takes that yeah. SDS bit. That's all right. There's another piece over there. Uh, we got finished drilling the big holes in it. So, all righty. Well, we, uh, we bought a 500 gallon fuel tank for $50, which we feel like that was a good deal. Uh, we gave $25 for the fireplace insert and robbed the front off of it. And uh, so the door, we didn't have to fool with building the door unit. We just put this one right on there. Uh, the ash pit is made out of two pieces of five, eighths, uh, of five inch channel iron. And, uh, you know, pretty heavy. And then we put it, it has its own bottom. And then we put a lid up here. This is just two pieces of three eighths pipe uh, welded in different places there. And of course that's a wrench, it's an iron worker spud wrench is what it is. So uh, that's it right there. Now the grate is made out of two pieces of angle iron and some flat strap. And uh, put it in there like that, it uh, got a little bit of warp on it, but we don't feel like that matters. Uh, the thing about doing it that way is that uh, uh, if it doesn't work out or if you want to replace it, it'd be easy to do. So that's, uh, uh, the pipe has been laying down in the field for 20 plus years. <laughs> so we were looking for an excuse to use the pipe up to this pipe. These uh, heat transfer pipes uh, really made this thing bad heavy, and it's. Uh, but we're gonna we're gonna get it in place and. Well, here we are on the back of the stove. We've taken a, we took a sub plate and welded the thimble to it, so we didn't have to weld the thimble to the tank. And we felt like that might kind of make it a little bit stronger. Uh, we took a, a chunk of the tank, because we had extra. Uh, since we cut it off, we had extra. We cut a chunk of the tank, I don't know, about 14 inches wide, and wrapped it around here and welded it, and this is going to be the plenum for the air to go in, and uh, we took uh, we took some cold roll inch and a half channel iron, and we run it through this uh, looper here, and uh, bend it round, and, uh, and this is going to be the stop for a solid sheet of uh, metal on the back. Uh, this is just a, a, an anchor to, to screw the middle of it so that it won't pulsate so much. Uh, this thing gets a, the takeoff collar is going right here, okay? Now, we're putting this in a 40 by 50 shop and this is going back up into the corner. So what he's gonna do is gonna put a takeoff collar here and then 90 up and put this stand up here. So it's gonna, it's gonna be out of a takeoff collar, the 90, and this pipe here stands up. And he can point it any direction he wants to, to put his blower on it. The uh, reason we're doing it that is because uh, it's gonna be back in the corner and by doing it this way, he can always service his blower because his blower is going to be out where he can get to it. Uh, the blower right now is uh, it's a booster fan uh, that it's, it's supposed to be put inside ductwork uh, to boost your air, but it's going to be the blower to, to blow this. I guess that's about it. Uh, we're heading for the sandblaster right now. Uh, we've got a solid piece of uh, uh, probably 18 gauge metal four before and it's going to be the end panel in here and that's what we're doing today uh, we're heading to the sandblaster we took a we took a piece of cardboard 
and put it across the back and then we tapped it to make a pattern because we're just pretty sure that this is not round. It's going to have some oblong spots in it. So, anyhow, so what we've been wanting to do is poke some wood up the chimney. <laughs> and we're thinking this will poke wood up the chimney. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks a lot, guys. We'll keep you updated when we get it in the garage. Yeah. Thanks. Yeah. Okay, guys, we just got home with the big stove, and so we're fixing to put it in this corner right over here we'll see how that goes but uh we had it sandblasted and had it painted and, and this is what we look like we got the plenum fixed on the back we did that today and uh when i was grinding i got a piece of metal in mine had to go to the doctor and get it out so uh that was eventful did you tell anybody so i'll see y'all later so we'll see how it goes Okay, we're unloading it off the trailer. What we're doing is we're putting it on pipes. Okay, where we're rolling it. We've got a come along right over here. Yeah, we're letting it off like so, like Dad said. We're going to let it off at a notched time and are aiming for that corner. And right before we get it all the way back, we've got to put this pipe going up in the back so we're not going to be able to get to it uh, when it gets in the back. But that's what we're doing. How you doing, Pop? Okay. Uh, <laughs> Sorry. We've got uh we've got it off the trailer. You kept me up past my bedtime. How am I doing? Yeah, we kept him up past his bedtime by far. <laughs> and uh but anyway we uh we got the stove off the trailer and we're fixing to pull the trailer out and here's what the setup we got, kinda of dangerous, but hopefully it all work out. So dad's gonna pull out, we'll see how it goes. Alright, you two friends. Um I've got my stove in. Um uh, I put some fire brick in it this morning. I'm going to show you what I did. I'm really excited about getting the stove in. I had a friend come help me uh, put the uh, triple wall pipe in the ceiling. And uh, I'm actually going to put a ceiling in too. So uh, that'll be my next video. But, uh, but anyway, I'm going to show you what I did about the fire brick. All right. On the fire brick... Um, I, t I took and put sand down the bottom and if you look at my other videos where you can see where I'd made you know I made this what four or five inches uh, a little bit like a box around it but that, you can see what I that's going to be my ash tray and uh, but anyway I put sand in it and put my fire brick down these old scrap brick that I got from somebody and then I put sand around my my, uh, my fire brick to seal it real good and uh, like I say and there's my heating tubes uh, so this is gonna be my, my ash pit which I'll have a, a tray that I'll be pulling out of it so uh, that's what I've been doing today so we're so close to getting this thing uh, going uh, in the pipe in the back uh, you can see um, I'm going to put a blower on it and it's actually going to come out to the side the side of the, uh, the stove where I can maintenance it and uh, that's it